Yeah, mate, doesn't matter how you spin it, Australia's got a housing problem. And for some reason, there's only one group of blokes trying to fix it. Us bloody builders, mate. I mean, we're out here every day trying to bust out as many of these new houses as we can, you know, so there's enough for everyone. And all we get in return is a bloody bad rap. Oh, we want cheaper housing. Yeah, right, done. You hand the keys over, then it's all, oh, oh, how come half the inside's missing, you know? Oh, why'd you turn me two-car garage into a half-car garage, now I can only fit the front end of my car in, you know? Well, where's the rest of me doors? It's like, mate, I don't think you understand what we're doing here. We just turned $35,000 worth of asbestos-ridden garbage into a $3.5 million house. These people carry on like they just watched me sell four different families the same house, waited for them all to turn up on the day, and then pissed off, you know? I would never do that. That. But for some reason, we just can't get rid of this reputation that we're all corner cut and con men that'll do anything to save a quid. And it's just not true, you know? That's sort of why I'm here today, mate, is to show people there's still good eggs out there, like myself, that are good, honest, hard-working people. Oop. Hello, Murph's Constructions, on time and on budget. <laughs> out of money. What are you, reckless spending? Mate, is this about the concrete is again? Look, I would love to pay him, okay? But as you know, that money is currently tied up in something. Like I told them, okay, they are more than welcome to come back down here with their cement truck and suck the concrete back up the tube and into the truck, okay? But I'm pretty sure it doesn't work like that, which means that concrete now belongs to me. Jail time. Yeah, no, no I think you're 100% right there, mate. We're gonna have to shut it all down. Yeah, bankrupt. Yeah, terrible news that is, mate. A real shame, but uh, if we are ever back in business, you'll be the first one I call, mate, all right? Too easy. Mate, <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. Yeah, mate, another day, another rebrand. And it's no big deal, really. I mean, builders go out of business all the time, mate. Industry standard. Just means from now on, we're really gonna have to tighten the belts, you know? But uh, luckily for us, there's heaps of ways you can really cut the guts out of these things. Especially once you get over the mental gymnastics that there's such a thing as high quality and low quality materials. It's all the same shit, mate, you know? It's all coming out of the same bloody factory in Guangzhou, China. So let go of that, okay? Get yourself a Bunnings Power Pass card and a 30-day account, mate, and go to town. Seriously, me and the boys will roll through, you know, load up the trailer with as much shit as we want, 30-day invoice, no worries, you know? Build the house in 27, day 30 rolls around and we no longer exist, mate. New bank account, new business name, we're in the wind, you know? And all Bunnings has to go on is a $60,000 invoice made out to some bloke named Michael Hunt. Never heard of him. Anyway, that brings us to our second biggest money sink involved in building houses, and uh, that's labour. And the answer to labour is very simple, you know? Just hire absolute cowboys. Seriously, there is a whole untapped world of highly skilled tradesmen just sitting there, ready to go in the one star section of Google reviews. Sure, it's terrible work, mate, but you think the average bloke knows what he's looking at? Not a chance. As long as it's got a floor, some walls and a roof, you're off to the races. Oi, how come we haven't been paid yet? Yeah, me neither, mate. Listen, boys, look, I understand that a lot of you haven't been paid yet, okay? But rest assured, the checks are in the mail, okay? Beauty. The checks are not in the mail. I would love for them to be in the mail, mate, but unfortunately I spent the last bloody three days in and out of Townsville Magistrates Court getting sucked dry by this country's legal system because apparently it's illegal to only do half doors on a house. And I could solve this with a rebrand, mate, but I just haven't got the funds, you know? I mean, the RAM's gone, the accounts are empty, I've got nothing left, mate. Truly backed into a corner on this one. But, as always, I do have a plan. It'll just take a few hours to get everything I need ready, but uh, you come back this time tomorrow and everything will be sorted. Mark my words. Oh, real bloody funny one, boys. Alrighty, boys, so before you head into site today, I just want to clear up a little misunderstanding we had about the pays yesterday. Now, I just want you to know, Murph always comes through, boys. So here's your pay, mate. There you go. Get your envelope. There's your pay, mate. There's your pay, mate. One for you, one for everyone. Now, hook in, boys. Ah, look at that. It just goes to show you, mate, good things come to those who wait. Mate, what the f***? Where's me tools, mate? He stole my tools! No, you're, you're f***ing dead, mate! You're dead! Is the guard eating a meal? Oh, oh. <sighs> Holy shit, mate. It's new gown merch. 
That's right, we're going bloody mental in the merch department, mate. Check this new gear out. The all-new bloody Sultans of Salmonella Zinger team, mate. Hot off the press. Grab one for your mum, mate, one for your dad, and support the boys, because f*** me. Are we on the absolute bones of our ass ever since YouTube changed their rules on swearing and drone striked our entire channel? Anyway, cheers for watching, cheers for supporting, and we'll see you in the next one.